So here we have a uh, Royal Power Tank, or Power Team. I've heard them referred to as both, but it says Power Team. And this one, I believe, is a model 4700. So, I got this thing a few weeks ago, and uh, the seller did a really good job packing it. But unfortunately, the little control board down here was broken in shipping. But, uh, yeah, thanks to a parts website called Back Parts Plus, also known as the Henry Company, I managed to get my hands on a new board, and uh, the seller was kind enough to refund me for the cost of the part. So, now I have a nice working model. But, let's get on to the testing. So, we'll start with the voltage. And uh, I think I'll just, I'll take the wattages, you know, I'll just uh, slide the little thing here when I do the wattages, but let's just start it up. start at the bottom. In terms of, uh, I, I suppose I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but in terms of like the uh, filters on this thing, it's a it's a bag and bag type system again. So we have an outer cloth bag, and then this is just an Enviracare branded uh, paper bag. I did see that they produced they they don't have like a polypropylene HEPA bag, which is what I prefer for them. But they had a they had a paper bag that had the HEPA label on it, and it's like. I don't like that, so I figured these were the cheapest option. Well, other than maybe the single ply things, but I'm not using single ply bags in anything. And one more little thing. This is actually the same uh, lock as like a filter queen. Just the three little pegs in there with the, the little hooks onto the coupling. So you can actually attach like a filter queen you, you can attach, you know, this to a filter queen, or you could attach a filter queen uh, coupling to this, which is kind of neat. But this plug is a little bit unique, because it's a three-prong, and then it's got a, uh, a little bit of a shape to it, kind of a concave. So, <laughs> that part you might struggle with, but it's like, yeah, a filter queen coupler would work. So, much like filter queen and some other brands i had to uh use my little auric stub in order to get this to connect it helps it seal onto it a little bit better so let's get the airflow test started here <laughs>
got our wands in place. I can tell I've got a little leakage around here, but I don't think that can be helped. And I just got a slightly higher reading. I don't know what changed, but just thought it would be worth noting. Yeah, we definitely have some leakage. So that's bringing us down. And this is most likely what's responsible for that leakage. We have an entire little channel in here for the uh, power head to be able to pivot. So. And as for the power head, it's a Hayden style head with um no oh, for some reason i thought this was a three row because i know one of my i used to have one of these in burgundy that uh did have a three row head i think it was two two brush strips and one thing of a uh, plastic beater but uh all right so we'll do this first off and then we'll switch it over to the on position. This is not a very well sealed nozzle. Yeah, I can feel air leaking around the back and around the wheels. Oh well. Test is in order for the off. Yep. You know, I hate when I forget to uh, unpause this thing. But I think I'm on the auto setting right now, so I'm just going to leave it on that and, uh, yeah. Slides a little bit better on medium. Yeah. 
yeah, there we have our uh, airflow test and our little demo of this classic American Royal. It's really too bad that they stopped producing them. Its numbers are, I'm taking a guess here, uh, just based off of the feet per minute things, but I think it's uh, pretty much in line with what we would see from a modern machine like a Mila, a Sibo. So, I mean, a machine that dates this far back, I think it was in the, uh, oh, I'm going to have to check the date. I know Kirby Classic 3 on Vacuum Land posted the dates of these things, and I want to say they were in the mid to late 90s or early 2000s, I think up to 2002. So, I mean, this machine is at very least 18 years old. <laughs> it's, le it's legally an adult. Isn't that funny? <laughs> but, uh...